So if you were creating a news product from scratch in 2022, how would you build it? That's one of the questions, one of the starting points for CNN Plus. Well, it's big news in the media world. CNN Plus shutting down. This is just a month after it launched. Variety was first to report today that CNN's new parent company, Warner Brothers Discovery, will end the streaming service. I reported last week that fewer than 10,000 people were watching CNN Plus uh, every day in terms of daily active users. So that's a paltry amount of people when you think about, you know, Netflix has 222 million subscribers. The mystery is why AT&T rushed the launch, why they spent so much money. They spent probably three times more than Fox Nation spent in, in the whole time it's, it's been on with significantly fewer subscribers. So in our view, Discovery Warner or the new WBD management made the right decision. A lot of people, especially members of the independent media world, knew that CNN Plus was bound to fall short in the ongoing streaming wars. On-demand news, more talking heads, Chris Wallace. But I don't think anyone knew how quickly the service would fold. In just two weeks, the platform that CNN poured hundreds of millions of dollars into has announced it's shutting its doors. Many, including CNN's own reporting, say that this happened mostly because of the merger between Warner Media and Discovery, which happened earlier this month, and a lack of joint vision between those two now joint companies. Incoming CEO Chris Licht bluntly told employees it was a, quote, uniquely shitty situation situation, and that this was an incredibly successful launch, but simply incompatible with the newly merged company's plans. Just days ago, execs at the network were touting CNN Plus as the company's most significant launch since Ted Turner founded CNN in 1980. As a corporate matter, the streaming service was Jeff Zucker's brainchild, and now he's gone, leaving his project in the dust. The internet is, of course, abuzz with jokes and memes, and although some are pointing out that this is a sad moment for the journalists, reporters, producers, and staffs who will lose their jobs. It's hard to see what anyone was thinking behind this launch. CNN is already losing viewers in droves, specifically younger viewers who are gravitating more towards independent media and voices they actually trust, not talking heads who have a vested interest in maintaining their power and prestige in places like Washington, D.C. People are still hungry for news, of course, and places including TYT keep growing and cultivating strong, passionate bases that allow for expansion into other areas, but the overwhelming dissatisfaction with networks like CNN already might signal that people are tired of the same old party line coverage that doesn't disturb the system. Fewer than 10,000 people are using the two-week-old streaming service on a daily basis, CNBC reported, which, as people have noted online, is about the same amount of audience as four popular Substack writers, proving that throwing money at a dying brand that many younger people are skeptical of won't do anything thing to rebuild their trust. Now that many of us have seen how capable independent media platforms are at delivering the news of the day with honesty, transparency, and passion, million dollar schemes like CNN Plus simply no longer stand a chance. And that is a huge shakeup for the media landscape. Goodbye CNN Plus. It was good while it lasted, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.